This kid acting like she don't understand what a peninsula is when I done explained to her multiple times. I done even took her to the, to the map on the wall and I told her, boom, 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 three sides, peninsula. Boom, 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 peninsula. But she acting like she don't understand. Because it's not in relation to the entire continent. It's in relation to this body of land. This body of land. This body of land. Not the entire country. My bad. You all right? I done took her out, y'all. All right, y'all. finally figured out how I want to be buried. I'm making this video so that there's no fighting and bickering over my body. Because I already know how y'all be. I don't talk to one side of my family just because my mom died and the way that her body was handled, they don't agree with. So I don't even talk to half of my family. And I'm okay with it. Broken families. Let's fix our families, y'all. I want to be cremated. I know before I said, throw my body in a burlap sack and bury me under a tree, but I have evolved because that sounds like it's going to cost too much damn money and it's a dead body. Sorry to those who have respect for the dead body, but to me, it's a dead body. My soul then jumped off into a whole nother body and an experience in a brand new spirit. So that old thing, this old thing, burn it up. Yes, cremate me, put me in a biodegradable container, if that's even necessary. Cause you could just kind of dump my ashes into the ground, then plant a tree on top of me. But not just any tree, I want a fruit tree. Whatever fruit is native to the land that I am in when I pass. Here in Arizona, we have orange trees. So juicy. But I'm thinking now I want to die in Georgia. Because you could put a peach tree on top of me. And when it gives fruit, it's going to have the juiciest, juiciest peaches. And every time you eat one of those peaches, y'all going to be eating my juicy sweet ass. Now you can record me. I am recording. I don't want to talk now. You don't have to talk. I don't want you to talk either. I'm talking. What you gonna say? This man done told me, babe, I made reservations. I didn't say make reservations. You did. No, you said I made reservations. And then he said, well, I didn't make reservations. I have to make reservations. And then the next day he says, well, I made reservations at Texas Longhorn for six o'clock. I'm like, okay. Puts my dress on because I think I'm about to go, you know, stun on the streets real quick, right? He comes downstairs and I was like, well, our reservations are gone because it's 6.15 and I'm sure they released them. He's like, I really don't have reservations. I just told you that to get you out the house. So you weren't getting out the house. Now we're driving around. He gonna pull up the Texas well, Longhorn. We it's just a little white. Thing. So we're out here driving around and we can just go hit up Filiberto's, get me some carne asada fries and call it a day. He's ignoring me, y'all, like, what I do? Because I didn't want to sit outside the restaurant. It's fine. what I do? Nothing. It's fine. But why are you being short with me, like, for real? It's fine. No, you ain't. This ain't your demeanor. This ain't how you be acting towards me. You're trying to treat me bad on Valentine's Day. It's a day for lovers. No loving going down. And yes, we ended up in the drive-thru. What did I do? He said he's dropping me off and leaving like I did something wrong. I said we could try to sell the fries, I tried to sell the burrito. Yeah, how much? <laughs> oh, juicy mouth sounding ass. <laughs> Valentine's Day 2020. Why do you keep doing this? Doing what? What you doing? Point out the fact that I'm sitting in a damn car. You had your I'm just sitting here in the car eating. Don't ask me nothing. My wife is fine with it. That's why I'm gonna drop her ass off at the crib and go out. And have me a good old time on Valentine's Day by myself. Yeah, me and the beard. I'm not allowed to speak. You can speak now. There were no plans to fall through. You didn't make any plans, therefore, no plans could fall through. I made some plans. No, you didn't. This might be the last Valentine's I celebrate. Let's really consider celebrating. This ain't even celebration, no, son. All kind of plans fell through. I'm in a damn car, eating. I don't hear nothing. I don't hear. I don't hear. First of all, I was on the internet for an hour and a half trying to find any place to get some reservations for tonight. Last minute. So what? The last minutes? Uh, yeah, it was last minute. I'm loading the game on my phone, mm -hmm. 
Because you refuse to take me home. Oh, yeah, I forgot to take you home. I wonder if I take you home. Would you still be at my baby? Because I need you to make So, he's taking me home now. After he done made me sit in this parking lot. Those of you who have been keeping up, I am in the midst of not only saving my family from another generation of trauma, but also helping other people in our community save their family from another generation of broken families, bitter families, family feuds, trauma. I'm here for us. So the most funny thing just happened with Michael and Caden. These two fight like cats and dogs. Do dog and cats really fight because I honestly see them getting along in most of the videos that I see. Don't get distracted, Lonnie. Squirrel. <laughs> All right, back on track. So the funniest thing just happened with Michael and Caden. They're doing their little bickering back and forth, but what I notice is Michael's not yelling. Caden's doing his typical turn up, which we're working on, but Michael is not yelling. But even before that, Michael and Caden are doing the Michael and Caden. And I'm like, look, dudes, y'all need to get out of my room. And I'm asking you nicely. And Caden's like, no, you're not. And Michael's like, yes, she is. She's asked us nicely. And then he proceeds to stand up and walk out the room. Later on, when the boys are going back and forth, Caden's doing his Caden turn up. But Michael's like, but I asked you nicely. Caden, I asked you nicely. <laughs> it is so freaking hilarious because... I'm trying to untrain my kid, but I just trained him to a whole new verbal cue. Before it was my yelling that prompted him to respond to me. Now it's me verbally saying, I'm asking nicely. Cause he knows once I say I'm asking nicely, the next thing is the turn up. So I guess it's good that I've retrained him to have a more positive verbal cue than my yelling, but he's still pushing it until I get to the point where I'm asking you nicely. And then he's doing the same thing to his brother, like, I'm asking you nicely. It's hilarious. Go black family. We gonna save us from this trauma if it's the last thing I do.